Welcome to Chris Parking Shooting Sports. Today we've got the latest Velocity Radar from Caldwell. Now this is one of the latest radar chronographs to measure bullet speed using radar and it uses a different kind of radar. It uses chirp radar which is a kind of signal processing which gets more frequent return signal and processing to calculate both existing speed and ballistic coefficient which can be calculated from the change in speed so it gives you a little bit more data. Now the Velocity Radar arrives with a USB-C charging cable because it's got an onboard battery and it also has a tripod included with it. So it's got the usual quarter inch thread that screws in the bottom there and we can then pop that up next to the gun's muzzle and it records the speed. Now what it says to do is put it as close to the muzzle as possible but obviously avoid any detritus coming back from things like muzzle brakes things like that because you don't want it to damage it but it actually works quite well if you give it a sort of four or five centimeter spacing away from the side of the muzzle and of course it will work with a moderator too now It'll measure bullet speeds from 250 up to 4,500 feet per second. As well as the acoustic sensor, it also has a recoil sensor, so you can actually put a cord on it, which is attached to your bow or an air rifle, something like that, which hasn't got such a great acoustic signature, and that will then generate the data from the chronograph, and of course it'll let the chronograph know when that projectile is leaving your weapon. One of the first things you've got to do with it, once it's actually positioned wherever you're going to use it, and you've got the 360 degree ball head on the tripod like this, is that just here there is a small peephole aperture. So you put that through it and you sight through onto your target to give you the most accurate aim. So I'm looking directly at the camera there for example, and that makes sure you've got the greatest possibility of return radar signal. Now there's a comprehensive instruction book comes with this actual chronograph and it does tell you that the larger the projectile and the slower the projectile, quite understandably, the more signal return you get. Smaller projectiles, higher speeds, a little bit signal return, and, but there's also a display on here which shows you how much signal return you got from the last projectile so you are a little bit more aware of how well it is picking up signal. Now this has been quite tricky to film and use because it's got quite a shiny surface on the screen but when I switch it on here you can see you get reflection off the screen you'll see me actually shooting in the video reflected from the screen on a lot of it but essentially you've got these four big cursor keys here which help you scroll around the menu structure and then you've got the four buttons down the side here for on off, yes, no, return, radar on or off and of course you can scroll between all these things. Now of course you can use this as a standalone unit or it will combine with the app on a smartphone or tablet which works via Bluetooth and has been consistent when it comes to connection between the two. But essentially if I want to just do a new string I can go into new string here, press the go button there and that is ready to record. Absolutely simple as pie. Now if I go back out of that and I go into settings I can change different features here like whether I'm using the acoustic trigger or whether I'm using meters per second or feet per second, things like that, scrolling through the menus on these rubberized buttons. But if I go back here and I can go to load a shot string, I can look at a string I've used before. So that was string five. You can keep multiple strings recorded on this and you can of course record them and transfer them over to your smartphone too for later visual reference. Now, if I look, for example, here, string five, I had 14 shots on it, and muzzle velocity was 877 meters per second. I happen to have recorded that in feet per second, but I just swapped it over to meters just so it will tell me what it was. And if I load up this string now, it will show you on the screen exactly what I see in use. That's actually ready to record again. And one of the great things about this chronograph is if you've got multiple rifles, you can record all the data with the string. So projectile weight, rifle name, things like that, and what ammunition you're using. And of course, with the projectile weight, that will also calculate your muzzle energy, calculates your ballistic coefficient. So so if you want to go back at a later date with a different rifle and say add some more shots to string 4 which is your 223 uh, using 73 grain bullets for example or string 7 for example which might be a 6.5 Creedmoor or something using 140 grain match bullet you can add further projectile exposures to record long term data and keep adding to it so it tells you whether things are changing or not as an overall average but 
The point being that on the main screen here, you've got minimum speed, maximum speed, average speed. You've also got the extreme spread, the standard deviation, and the ballistic coefficient. Now it says there the radar is ready. Obviously the radar isn't ready because it's face down on the worktop here. But those three bars there will light up to show you how much signal return you're getting from each bullet you send past the chronograph. Now, of course, it works from the shooting bench or you can put it on a separate tripod and of course you don't have to go downrange to do any kind of setup at all with it. It comes with a comprehensive instruction manual. It tells you all about how to set it up, some of the quirks, some of the ways to make sure you're getting the best out of it, and it explains all the menu systems and exactly how you can work through it for exactly what you need. One of the most interesting factors is it develops what it calls dope. Now there are slight limitations to this in the fact it's kind of restricted to imperial units but the dope actually will tell you based around 100 yards zero when it calculates your muzzle velocity, calculates the ballistic coefficient and it will actually give you energy and drop factors for different distances and that's all done on the chronograph from the projectile you're exposing. You can program in bullet weight, calibre, that of course helps it calculate the ballistic coefficient. But here it gives you a list of all the different shot strings you can put into it. And here you can see a display of how different projectile diameters and speeds will affect the recording slightly in terms of how sensitive the unit is. It will work with a firearm or a bow. Bow's not so popular in the UK, but of course in the US where these originate from, very popular indeed. And it tells you all about setting it up, how to get the most from it, how to use the aperture to get the best aim on target, and the different ways of using it to get your data, offload your data, whether you want to use it on the screen or whether you want to offload it to a phone via the app, and keep that for further calculation at a later date. The three inch display is easy to see by eye. It's a little bit reflective in the camera, but of course it's been very bright recently anyway, but it hasn't affected me seeing it, just the camera seeing it. There are some really helpful features, like for example, if you're recording a shot string and you happen to be testing different types of ammunition and you put the wrong type through at the wrong time, you can actually subtract those shots from the string. So it doesn't, of course, affect the overall standing of the string you've already recorded. So it doesn't disrupt your data. That's a really useful feature actually because especially when you're doing more technical testing of projectiles, if you'd have one reading which is kind of something you don't want recorded into that average, you can just delete it out. And the rubber buttons of course make it really easy to just get hold of it, it's very tactile, it's all large, you've no problem wearing gloves, anything like that, and it's easy to use. Ballistic coefficient is calculated for every shot and that shows when you do the full shot string visual readout. It will also display them in G1 or G7 ballistic coefficient as well as giving you an overall average. And again, we go back to the fact that suppose you notice you put a bullet in that had a slightly damaged plate or something like that. Oh, whoops, I've shot that. It's gone into the data. Well, you can just take that shot out and make sure that's not affecting your overall average results. Anyway, I hope to be using this chronograph over the coming months. Now we're testing it with some different guns, different projectiles, see the correlation and the difference in size of projectiles and how easy it is to pick up or read. And I'll also be using some longer range stuff with it as well. But in the meantime, there you go for a little first impressions and unboxing video, because I have been using this for the last couple of weeks on some quick gun test projects, but it's the middle of summer. There's not many guns coming in at the moment, and I hope to get using this more as time goes on. It's very tough, well-built, it's got really big, protected rubber armoured corners as well so you don't have to worry about knocking it over and of course having that tripod included with it makes it very easy to set up on the bench but if your bench is a little bit wobbly or you're using a support structure it hasn't got a bench you can use a separate tripod and it's got the usual quarter inch adapter on the underside. If you want to use the recoil activation sensor that just plugs into this port here and the USB-C cable that comes with it plugs in there to charge it up. Charging took less than an hour and I've been using it for four weeks and haven't actually had to recharge it yet but I do tend to top it up every week just to make sure. Anyway that's the first look at the Caldwell Velociradar. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, click the notification bell and keep track of my regular uploads and hopefully as the year goes on and more guns come through off the test bench you're going to see the the Velocity Radar in use more with them. Thank you for watching, bye for now.